Good morning, it's Saturday. Let's take a look at where we're at. This is an engineering update. So, what we've got here is what I'm sort of calling is the Mark 1 wheel assembly. That's the front wheels for the cart that I built. And as you can see, as in any roller coaster system, you've got top wheels, what I'm calling side stop wheels, and then underneath are the up stop wheels. These wheels here prevent the cart from coming off the track if something should bounce a little bit too much. So that was the Mark 1, and then I used two, a pair of skateboard wheels here to see if I could get the thing to navigate around these screws, which are what hold the track to the ties. Um, the other interesting thing about the front wheels is I built a sort of a skateboard truck using a rubber grommet and squeezing that really close together so that when the thing is on a turn, which you can see right now, that's the front of the cart, you can see that the distance between the cart and the wheel assembly is shorter here than it is here because the thing is going around a turn, right? And so we've got a kind of an independent suspension, at least the front wheels are semi-dependent on the rest of the structure. And then the back wheels don't have that, but they do turn, they do steer. Now here is the, what I call the Mark II wheel assembly. And the Mark II wheel assembly is wider. It uses more substantial hardware and different wheels um, to hold the thing on the track. All right, so if you look down the track, you'll see you've got a flat wheel touching a round track on the back and a, and a rounded wheel touching a round track on the front. And so this configuration is not as easy to manage. This one is a lot more forgiving because it allows for some sideward play. And then also over here, there's only one side stop wheel, which I think actually works better than the dual side stop wheels because the dual side stop wheels tend to pinch. So that's kind of what we got going on here today. We'll give it a little bit of a roll to kind of send it back down the track, but so we're getting there. It took all day to build the back wheel assembly. And I think what I'm going to have to do is take all day today and build another identical one for the front because that back wheel assembly works so much better than the front one did. And so we're kind of learning as we go, but I still feel like we can get the coaster finished for Halloween. <laughs>